Now we read that. We read that last week. <coughs> we read that last week. The statement of Ibn Qayyim, rahimahullah. We read that last week, I believe. So we're going to deal with the issue of what is the number, you know what I'm saying, to start off the Salatul Jama'ah. I think that's the right word. What is the number to start off the Salatul Jama'ah, right? Mm -hmm. Right. The congregation. What is the number that that would be ex yes a word that would be acceptable salat or this is the number the minimum the minimum to start the salat to consider this jama to consider the salatul jama'a the congregational prayer now now here the shah hafizahullah ta'ala he mentioned that that the congregation it is derived or it is taken from al it is taken from al it is taken from al right meaning to con to the congregation or the naam the congregate the congregate huh? The gathering, right? The congregation, the gathering, coming together, right? This is where the word uh, al jamaa came from, right? The coming together, that action of coming together, al ijtima, the action of coming together. Naam. So two, two, two people, right? Two people is what is consider the jamaa two is what two is what bring about the jamaa meaning you have jamaa starting off with two so what bring about the realization of the jamaa what bring the jamaa or what Make the man the, the manifest the jama'ah is starting off with two, right? So there is no jama'ah except starting with two, right? Uh huh. And the hadith of Barakallah fikum, the hadith of Abi Musa Marfu'an. Last time we, we talked about this issue of these three terminologies. Anybody remember? Those three terminologies. We mentioned marfu'an. We mentioned maqtu' na'am. Maqtu'un. We mentioned mawqufun. We mentioned mawqufun. Right? We mentioned barakallah fikum. Marfu'un. Right? Marfu' Mawquf and Maqtu' Right? Maqtu' And all of those as we mentioned it is dealing with three different people Right? We mentioned they are dealing with three people Right? So when you say Barakallah Fikum the hadith the hadith of Abu Musa Hai hakada Hadith Abu Naam Marfu'an that mean it is what? Traceable to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Right Traceable to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Amma when you say Mawquf It is traceable To the companions Or to a companion How do you pronounce that word? Mawquf 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 Meaning it is traceable back to a To a Huh? At the Sahaba It stops at the Sahaba It's traced back to a companion Amma when you say Maqtu' 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 Tabi'een Ahsanta Right? That it is, it stops at a tabi'een or traceable back to a tabi'een. 
right? Ala ayin. This is just alhamdulillah to know what the word refer to as in regard to the details in it. Barakallah fikum. This is not the mahal of, of that bi idhnillahi ta'ala. So the hadith of the hadith of Abu Musa radiyallahu anhu wa arda whereas the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he mentioned that two 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 or more or the jama'ah is in two or more that the jama'ah the congregation of salah it starts with two or more that the congregational salah right meaning the salatul jama'ah the congregational salah is starts with two or more meaning if there is only abdurrahman and his father in the masjid is a jama'ah if there is only abdurrahman and his father is a jama'ah the other ones right if there is only umar and his father it is a jama'ah in the masjid right it is only Muhammad and Ahmed, right? It's a jama'ah. It is only Abu Dhur'a and Muhammad, it's a jama'ah. It is only Abu Khadija and Abdullah, it's a jama'ah. It is only Shakir and Sajid, right? It's a jama'ah. So, two and above, or two or more, right? As I say, two and more. Two or more, right? It is, barakallahu fikum, the salatul jama'ah. He say, uh, fima fawqahuma Mi, huh? Fama fawqahuma Meaning Whatever is Two or more So here Barakallah The two is what? Is inclusive The two is inclusive The two is inclusive The two is not being exclusive It's not being taken away But rather the two part of it It's just like where Barakallah Fikum Right, the, the the verse mentioned that wash their hands all the way to their elbow. Is the elbow part of it? Yes, it is part of it. And as a matter of fact, you from the Sunnah is that you wash way past the elbow. You add to the elbow, Barakallah fiqh. Right? So two whatever is after two, from two and after it is the congregational salah. Right? Two and after two it is the congregation of Salah. Naam. And this hadith Barakallahu Barakallahu Jamia Rawahu man Ibn Ibn Majah. Rawahu Ibn Majah Rahimahullah. Inshallah for the next class. Bring about the name of Ibn Majah. Next class. What is the name of Ibn Majah? And who is who was his main teacher? Ibn Majah rahimahullah and who was his main teacher of hadith right Ibn Majah who was his name and bring barakallah fikum about his main teacher right the one that he mainly alhamdulillah yani, took hadith from naam fadl akhi Here it is also, alhamdulillah, a, a very, a very, very beautiful hadith that many other people also have abandoned. It is a beautiful hadith that many people have abandoned. Here the Shaykh Sahafidahullah, he mentioned, likewise the hadith where the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and, and it is lovely how Shaykh al-Albani explained this hadith too. In this hadith, the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam he say, "Man tasaddaqa," meaning who will give charity, Allahu Akbar. And also, it is, rahimahumullah, the scholars, Allahu Akbar. It is beautiful when you read this hadith and you listen or you read the explanation of the ulama in regard to the detail they bring about these narrations. That you, our mind, I would say, my mind, your mind could not go further than these lines. You will read it like, you know, these lines, that's all you have. But whatever, barakallah, is the knowledge that is in the hadith, 
That it is beautiful how the ulama they do istinbat, they they extract walhamdulillah those benefits in the in the narration. Now listen to this. The Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam he say. Akhi, akhi, hawin, hawin ala nafsik, hawin. He translated for his own self already. So. <laughs> The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he asked, and this is when after that they prayed the congregation, a companion came late, he missed the congregation, right? He missed the congregation, and the prophets, and he was on the corner praying. The Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, who will go and pray with him, and it will be a sadaqah for him. Meaning, who will give charity, right, by praying jama'ah with this person? Right? Who will give sadaqah ala hadha upon that individual? So here this sadaqah, what does it mean? We will know barakallahu feekum in regard what the action of the companion was. فَقَامَ رَجُلٌ A man good got up. فَصَلَّ مَعَهُ And he prayed with him. So what was the sadaqah in here? That he prayed with him. Now here is the thing. Shaykh al-Albani rahimahullah he mentioned. And this is for those who they view that you can establish a second jama'ah in the masjid. When they take the likes of this hadith, the extra detail the Shaykh al-Albani rahimahullah mentioned was here that the person that prayed with him already established the Salatul Jama'ah. This is why the Messenger say, who will give charity ala hadha upon that one? So he already prayed. He already prayed. When the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam say, who will gonna give charity on that one up there? So a man got up and he prayed with him he prayed with him and this is also alhamdulillah a sunnah that barakallah fikum we have i would say we in in in, in a general in general the people have abandoned that seeing a person that came late after the jama'ah knowing that this individual is not somebody that barakallah fikum will you know just uh, be late because he want to be late or he's a person that don't never come to the salah to he's late barakallah he's a person that Pray Isha, you know he will be here every night, every Isha. If you don't see him, you will even ask about where is so and so if you don't see him for two days. So, yep. so Alhamdulillah, like that, we have to re establish, revive that Sunnah. You see a brother, he came late, Alhamdulillah, you want to give charity by way of giving him the congregation. Naam, akhi. Faqala. So the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, فَهَاذَانِ فَهَاذَانِ These two, these two duo, فَهَاذَانِ these, these two, meaning the, those two duo, it is جَمَاعَةً It is a congregation. Those two, right? Or these two, or those two, they are what? جَمَاعَة So they were جَمَاعَة baraka. And how many were they? They were two. So from also this hadith, we learned that what? Two is jama'ah. So this is why Shasala Fazah he say that the jama'ah start with two and above. Naam. And this is Imam Ahmed Rahimahullah that Barakallah Fikum he reported this hadith and other than them. He reported this hadith and other than them. <coughs> Alhamdulillah, one of the beauty in, 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 in which is important, one is the beauty in, in Bulughul Maram, right? Is that in that the Shaykh Rahimahullah he will he will say Rawahu al Khamsa or Rawahu al Sitta or Rawahu al Sabah. Right? So now the in, in the very beginning Barakallah he will mention who is the two, who are the three, or who are the four, who are the five, who are the six, who are the seven. And this is Alhamdulillah also a very good help in regard to one Alhamdulillah learning I mean, or reading the ahadith bi idnillah. Naam. Wa li qawlihi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bi malik ibn al-Fawaidi. 
Naam. And also the statement of the messengers, alayhi salatu wa salam, to Malik ibn Huwayrith. And we finish with this line. Who was Malik?